Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar uh, Mendez. Today we're going to be doing a reading focus on what are your person's current feelings for you. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. I want to remind you all I am offering services. I am offering healing, um, uh, cost your karma clearing, and private readings. Um, Pre-recorded and live if you are interested in that. Um, I do a book. I am offering a 20% discount right, um, right now if you're interested in getting that. Um, the discount will be for about a week more, maybe two, and then I'm done. Um, I just want to thank you all. If you um, want to book with me but you don't have the money, please feel free to email me. Um, I do understand the strength it takes to write that email, um, so I will reply to you. Don't worry. Um, I want to give you all my love and my thanks and appreciation for your support. And let's kind of get started. Um, I want to um, know how does um, sorry how does Taurus this person currently feel? That's going to be our reading. Um, if you hear noise of my cousin, um, sorry my nephew nephew in the background, um, how does Taurus this person currently feel about Taurus? Let's take a look here, Taurus. Let's see what we're working with. Um, we have two cards coming out. We have the throat chakra. And we also have um, a spiritual strength in its reverse. I absolutely will. All right. Um, we have throat chakra coming through with spiritual strength in its reverse. I feel right now um, there was a period in your connection where it took all of your strength to tell this person how you feel. Right. To tell this person um, uh, like this is all of it, like the good, the bad, uh, maybe even parts of yourself or maybe even some traumas that you've gone through. But I feel you've used everything that you possibly can to express yourself to this person in a very deep and profound way and tell them parts of your, tell them and show them parts of yourself that you never share with anyone, that you never open up to anyone, that you never give to anyone. I feel like you are, um, oh, it's, sorry, it, it's, um, it's, it, it's almost like you've, um, you, you've you've pushed yourself in ways that you you never thought you would um, for anyone because this person inspired you and invoked you in that way, right? Um, I feel like you. Um, I feel like you found. Um, sorry, I feel like it didn't. Sorry, ooh. I feel like it didn't work out. We have the five of pentacles and it's reverse. Um, I feel like you. Um, uh, you hope that it it it, it would um, lead to success. You hope that it would lead to this person understanding um, your conviction and your commitment to them. I don't know if that ever came, um, if I'm being honest with you, right? Sorry, I want to make sure you can see all the cards. Um, but I can tell that it took everything it, you had to tell this person the truth about how you felt. Um, one thing that comes through from uh, from uh, from from Lucifer, right, um, is that this person did hear you. Um, uh, they they did uh, feel you. They do. They they did. Um, they did understand that you opened up to them as well. With that spiritual um, strength in its reverse here as well, I can feel that. Um, uh, I can feel with that spiritual strength in its reverse here um, that you that you found strength you never knew you had. And this comes through from Buddha, right? Um, uh, this, this strong energy of that spiritual strength. One thing that um, I, I think of when I think of spiritual strength is spiritual selflessness, right? You know, you told this person these things with no expectation. Um, uh, you didn't expect anything in return, but I feel that you didn't get what you hoped for or, what, or, or, an, equal, or, or an equal exchange. So one thing that comes to my mind is I remember when I had my twin in my life and I was opening up to my twin. And one thing I, I felt and understood was I got back way less than I, than what I was giving. And I feel like you may have experienced something very similar um, where this person may have breadcrumbed you or may have given you very little. But it took all of your strength, all of it, all of it to to tell this person the truth about how you felt, to tell this person the truth about what you know, what you've gone through. Right. So this person the truth about maybe your hopes and your dreams that you never tell anyone, right? It took everything and it feels like you it didn't pay off. All right. Um, it feels like this was a very hard pill to swallow. And one that I feel that you um sorry, one that I feel that you're still overcoming with the financial um financial material ch um changes uh coming out with new beginnings in this reverse, I feel like you didn't have that new beginning, right? Um, one thing that comes to from my nephew is don't forget to embody the energy of, of a child, right? Or your inner child, or don't, don't lose that optimism. And that comes to from Lucifer as well, right? Um, embody the energy, beautiful. Um, 
embody the um that, that beautiful child energy that childlike energy that enthusiasm and bring it into everything that you do okay so let's look at how this person currently feels about you how does this person currently feel about um sorry about Taurus how does this person currently feel about Taurus how does this person currently feel about Taurus let's take a look here let's see um we have conflict and defeat one thing that I can feel here, Taurus, is this person has a relationship from their past that they um, that didn't work out. So I feel like, you know how you gave this person your all? I think they did the same, but to someone who was unworthy, right? Someone who was unfit, someone who didn't understand or appreciate them. You know, it's likely an ex. They're probably hung up on this ex, by the way, but whatever. But I feel like this person... Um, came into your connection with the energy of I've already been defeated by love, right? I've already been um, overtaken by it. I've already lost that battle, lost that war. All right. Um, this comes through like an energy of like you know um, Caesar. Sorry. Um, uh, and I feel like this is someone who um, you know like, you didn't realize it at the time, but you were pretty much dating someone who pretty much gave up on love. All right. Even though you gave this person your all, even though you told this person something so profound. Um, uh, you, sorry, even though you told the person so profound, I feel like this person didn't see or uh, feel that worth or that value there because they looked at love as a, I mean, I mean, like they didn't see any point in it. So let's look, how does this person currently feel uh, about Taurus, about Taurus? I want to say about your life as well. So let's take a look here, Taurus. Okay. All right, um, we're doing good. It's a good time. Um, all right. So we have hope coming through, uh, that beautiful energy um, of hope, of light. This is the star here. You know, um, I feel here, Taurus, that you shine brighter than other people, right? I feel like you shine brighter than pretty much everyone in your life and probably everyone in your family. One thing that I can tell here, um, I feel like you are someone who brings in that beautiful light. I feel like you're someone who is a light worker or... Um, um, or a light bearer that's kind of what i want to say especially with the energy of lucifer coming through um one thing that you know i know we may hear that name and think one thing um uh, oh, oh sorry um i don't want to dive into that right now sorry i'm i'm still you know um uh, it, it is what it is anyway um with the hope coming through here i feel like you're someone who brought the light to your family i feel like you're someone who's healing your family challenges your family karma your family's lineage issues right the baggage um all that stuff I feel like you're someone who's doing this. You are the hope for your family. One thing that um, I, I feel like this person, you know, feels about you is you're someone who has light, or you are someone who is a who who carries light. I hope that makes sense to all of you, right? You're someone who truly has this energy. And one thing that you know, as beings of light, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's you know, um, uh, there's a selflessness with that energy, right? Um, I feel like you're stronger than you know. And one thing that does come through, especially for the earth walk that all of us are in, is it's very hard for us to overcome some of the negativity that earth has, the earth plane, the earth walk, and even some of the ideas that humans have about, about people, places, and things, all right? Um, don't be afraid to be yourself is what I want to say with that, okay? With the six of cups, there's a very strong spiritual connection. I feel like you are dealing with the twin. I feel like you are someone who is... Um, uh someone who uh has this twin flame connection one thing that does come through from from sorry from lucifer is he's saying that you got you kind of got this connection thrown in your face and you're like what the f is this right um you didn't know what the hell's going on it's like you didn't know um uh like what to do it kind of feels like you were at a at a loss for a while very confused for a while but you found something in this you, for one thing he's saying that you found how to trust yourself right um i feel like a lot of times when you're being with this person you may have been wondering do they even feel the same way about me do they even um uh have like feelings for me you know what i mean like i feel like you may have questioned that because maybe this person's very hard to read or maybe they're in your blind spot which actually is the case especially if you're a twin um they are your blind spot and vice versa it's purposeful um He's saying that there is a, a beautiful sexual attraction here as well that you both share, and that is partly to do with the blind spot, but I don't know. Um, uh, maybe that's for him. Anyway, but um, this person feels a very strong and profound, deep connection with you. One that feels um, beyond compare, all right? Even though I feel when you're dealing with this person or talking to them in the physical, um, it, it may have felt otherwise. One thing that um, I can tell you just as my, from my own experiences when I was dealing with my own twin um, 
I felt very connected to my twin when I wasn't around my twin. And when I was there, it, 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 I felt connected and I wanted it, but it, it wasn't always the same, especially one-on-one. -on -one. I know it sounds crazy to say, but sometimes we have, we have a hard time believing that what we're feeling when we're at home is the same when we're right in front of us. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I feel like they had the same issue. Uh, we had triumph and success in this reverse year. This person already suffered a very deep defeat when it comes to love. Um, and with that defeat, they brought that energy in and they looked at your connection as it was already a losing battle or already a lost cause. One thing that, you know, we hear people say is love's not worth it or um, I'll never get married again or I'll never, I'll never be married. There's something, something like that. I hope that makes sense to all of you. Um, that came through from Kuan Yin, you know, that energy a little bit, right? Um, a lot of us come, uh, you know, we form these like, you know, limiting beliefs or limiting perspectives or become very jaded. Um, I'm not saying that Kuan Yin's jaded. I'm saying that that message came through from her. Anyway, um, the, with the triumph and success, they, they look at love like it's like it's not worth it or it isn't worth it because of what they've gone through, all right? And we have trapped and fear reversed. What this tells me here, um, Taurus, is this person has been trapped in this like low vibe, um, perspective when it comes to love for so long, they don't even recognize that they're low vibe, right? So they probably are very suspicious when it comes to new people that they're romantically connected to or, rom or want to be or find physically attractive. I feel like they're very standoffish. They kept you at arm's length and they weren't going to be shifting or changing that one, by the way, as well. I want to make this really clear to you as well with that trapped in fear. Um, this person find, um, per this person has very low vibe tendencies towards love but they don't register that because they've been in it for so long, right? You know, when you first, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't think this way about love, right? When you first start thinking that way, um, this person, they, they've been thinking about it for years, right? Um, they don't see that it is a low vibe thing, all right? Uh, they don't see that it is toxic in a way as well. And I feel like they brought this toxic energy into your connection when you brought purity, all right? Um, one thing that he, that Lucifer, or, or, or I even want to say spirit and the light are saying is you're someone who can go through this and still carry light and still hold light. Does that make sense? Um, you're someone who can experience this and still, um, and still truly feel it and truly feel like that, that innocence, you know, like my, like my little nephew running around the home, by the way, he's been super in his inner child and he is like two, three years old, by the way. Um, and it's been beautiful to have him in that energy and, um, uh, sorry, uh, I can tell he's very comfortable. So anyway, we have the um, foundation and achievement reverse. They tried it. This person may be a divorcee. Um, uh, they may be, a um, a widower, I don't know, right? Um, I don't think it's that one. I think divorcee is the one. Um, I feel like this person here with that foundation and achievement, um, they, they gave someone their all and it didn't work out and that's how they see love, right? We have solitude reversed. They don't want to be alone though, right? They don't. There's this urge and this sense, this feeling that they want to be in a relationship, but they don't want to open up the way that they need to, to be in a relationship with you, right? They don't want to be vulnerable. Um, uh, they don't want to um, do the work, essentially. Um, and that's kind of where I feel like you're butting heads right now. Um, uh, you want a connection that is pure, that's open, um, that has all those layers, uh, rip, you know, uh, all those layers peeled away, right? Like an onion. Uh, you know, you're looking for the core, right? You're looking for, um, sorry, um, I want to say the pure expression, right? Um, that's, the, that's what you're looking for, okay? Let's take a look here. How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person currently feel about Taurus? And I want to thank you for coming in. Uh, thank you. Um, we have the third house, communication. Third house is all about community. And I feel like you are friends with this person or have been friends with this person. I feel like you may... Um, they kind of want to keep things as is, especially with that 41 being there. You know, 41 is, it breaks down to a five, but it, is it a five yet? No, right? You have to break that down, right? I feel like this person um, doesn't want to, your connection to change, but they don't want to do what, um, uh, but that's not good enough for you. Does that make sense? Right? You want more from this person or you don't want it, right? And this is kind of where you're drawing the line with this person, right? We have the 11th house mystery, sorry. Eighth house mystery. Eighth house is um, death, taxes, and sex. <laughs> right? um, this person doesn't mind a little hanky-panky, right? Um, they don't mind that. In fact, I feel like they're very down for that. But what they do mind um, is an open connection. Scorpion energy or the eighth house or the energy of the eighth house is very deep, right? You're looking for a deep, profound connection, right? You're looking for something that 
um, that makes all the other crap you've gone through worth it, right? Um, not that it can be or it should be, but you know what I mean, right? You're looking for something that is as deep as you possibly can go because this is, you know, you're a deep sea diver, right? Um, this person with the 46 being here at 10, you're looking for completion. That's what you're looking for. Funny, um, I'm like, anyway, I'm, I'm working towards unity consciousness and I'm like, I'm wondering where's the completion at? I think it's that. Anyway, we also have opposition, confrontation. So you and this person are currently butt heads, all right? Um, you're not able to see eye to eye. I don't think that you can make it work with this person as is unless this person changes their ways, okay? Um, let's get like a, a last outcome card and wrap your reading up. Or let's keep going. You know, um, I don't mind. Um, look at the energy. So let's see. For Taurus, Taurus, I'm going to Venus. Let's take a look here. And don't fret about who gave the message. I promise you, it is all of the light, okay? Sorry, I to just remind you, light, light bringer, right? That's what he is. Okay, well, anyway, we have the new moon in Libra. Um, know you are loved. Um, sorry, know you are loved. Um, my message to you, my message to you um, with that new moon in Libra here, um, you know that you are loved. You know that you are lovable and you know that you deserve more. And this is kind of where you land with this person, with this connection, with all things that you do in life, right? You're not going to settle um, because this person is saying, this is all I can do right now, right? You're not saying, oh, f, 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 f like, you know, F the rest, right? You know, you're not saying, fuck it, right? Uh, I don't mean to swear, but I have to say that, right? You're not saying that. Um, you, you're saying, I, 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 I want more, <laughs> right? Um, we have the new moon um, in Leo shine. This is your light shining, right? You still have light. I feel like this person may have lost their light or they, they their light may be very dim now, all right? And we also have, we have um, a new moon in Aries, go for it. This person's feelings for you, you know, um, if they didn't have that setback from their past, push through um, those insecurities, something from their past, first quarter moon in Cancer, um, they would um, be full speed ahead, but that's not how life worked out, right? Um, uh, I feel like this person has too much baggage, they're too jaded right now to see you or this connection for what it could be. And right now, I feel like this person is going to keep pulling away and keep being emotionally withdrawn, all right? So I want to thank you, um, uh, Taurus, for being here. Don't forget to like and comment. I do have services open if you want if you want to book with me. Um, uh, sorry, if you want to book with me, I do have healings um, and all that good stuff. I have Akasha Karma clearings and, and um, initiations to the guides as well as um, uh, private readings. All right. So I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and comment. Take care. Bye, Taurus.